January 7th is one year to the exact date when President John Dramani Mahama was sworn in for what we can call his first proper term in office as President of Ghana. Today, the Ministry of uh, Information and Media Relations is holding a public forum on the theme Advancing the Better Ghana Agenda Prospects for 2014, perhaps to preempt what President Mahama will be talking to the nation about tomorrow in his interaction. The forum, chaired by P.V. Obing, sought to shed light on what has been happening in the past one year, allow for frank discussions on the administration, and also present an opportunity for projections into the future beginning 2014. Samuel Okujetua Blackwa, Deputy Minister of Education, in charge of tertiary assets, his ministry has been able to enroll 25,000 street children into school in line with UNESCO's guidelines on street children. According to UNESCO's tracking of out-of-school children between the ages of 6 and 11 years, by 2006, there were 513,000 children of school-going age on the streets out of school. This figure by 2012 had been cut by almost half, by 46%, and there are currently 278,000 which we need to deal with. But it is important to observe that we have almost halved the out-of-school children under the Better Ghana agenda. Minister of Communication, Dr. Edward Omani Buama presented the highlights of the communication ministry, including the road, energy, and water sectors. In the year 2013, the number of mobile phone subscriptions went up by as much as over 2 million. 2 million more SIM cards were secured. As of now, 145 kilometers of optic fiber have been laid and we are to complete the rest by the end of the year 2014. If you check our manifesto, he says that by the end of the year 2016, Ghana would have achieved the production of 5,000 megawatts of electrical power. This year, he ensured that we have completed the Bui Hydroelectric Dam project. The road sector, if you look at a place like Awoshi, Pukwase. I'm very sure for those of you who have been there will clearly appreciate the good work that is ongoing. For those of you who have been to the trade fair area and all that, you bear ample testimony to the expansion that is ongoing, the Gifford Road project, the Bema Camp Road project and all that, and the Kwame Nkrumah Circle Interchange. And if plans are to materialize, I would love to see coming into fruition the interchange at the Tema motorway section that will ensure that if you were going to Volta region or you were going to Togo, it will just be a matter of not going through the heavy traffic, but moving, flying over and hitting a segment that will just take you straight away. Fifi Kweti, Minister of State in charge of financial and allied institutions, in addressing issues of the economy, said, with all the difficulties faced in 2013, the economy was not negatively affected. He asserts, for the nation to remain competitive, we need a complete mental overhaul. We cannot eat our cake and have it. We have done it for 20 years, and from, and, and from now going, we need to be able to take this country along and tell the truth to the country that eating our cake and having it is simply not possible anymore. Now, it's not just about Ghana. It's also about the fact that we are losing competitiveness. So many countries around us are gathering pace and are going ahead of us. It used to be the case that we used to be the shining light of the continent in football. And for many decades, we lost competitiveness and we started losing left and center until recently we started gaining grounds again. Same way it is that if we are not careful, in spite of what it is we are achieving with the economy, other countries are looking far more competitive. Why? Because they are capable of taking the tough decisions that need to be taken. 
While we are increasingly putting too much premium on what we can consume today at the expense of what investment we should make for the transformation and the future of our country. <laughs> and this cannot be overemphasized. A nation that is consuming almost 99% of its revenue, if you take up oil, by paying salaries, that nation over the next 10 years is going to lose competitiveness. Another country that are spending far more of their resources in vital infrastructure, those countries are going to take the lead ahead of us. It simply shows that we need to have a serious decision and say enough is enough. This path cannot continue. Foreign Minister Hannah Tete, who addressed issues on governance and associated matters, reassured of the president's commitment to engage in partnerships for progress with Ghana's allies. This is the only African country where we can have elections conducted in such a close manner and we can come to a difference of maybe not more than 300,000, 400,000 votes. And yet because of the Ghanaian people, and our inherent commitment to our democracy. There is no disorder. There is no violence. There is peace. There is stability. And that is the reason why we are the best investment address in Africa, regardless of whatever anybody else tells you. I also want to tell you that over the year, we have contributed our quota, not just as a country, but as a country within a regional framework to the development and to the continuous building of peace on our continent. We have Ghanaian soldiers serving as peacekeepers in Cote d'Ivoire, because there are still some in Cote d'Ivoire, in Mali. Indeed, we are going to soon think about deploying into South Sudan to be able to support the peace process that is ongoing over there. And our commitment to being part of the process of creating a new image for Africa by helping ourselves as Africans to police our own problems and to demonstrate, in the words of the first president, that we are capable of solving our own problems. We have, over the last year, built bilateral and multilateral relationships that indeed are going to help to continue to build on the progress that you have heard Honorable Okujetua Blakwa, Honorable Omane Boama, and Honorable Fifi Kwete talk about this evening. The Mahama administration says. Well, so we want to do something very innovative today. We want to give opportunity or the platform for you out there watching us um, out there, the AM show, which is live on the Joy News channel of Multi TV, to get to interact with us. And very soon we'll be opening the phone lines, Akusia. Yes, yeah, so that's 0302 0302-211-691. Or two. So we're looking at the Mohammed's performance for a year. What do you think? Mm. And he's meeting the press today. What do you think uh, they should ask him and, and all? Mm. So well, and you also, not mm. what you think people also should ask him. If you were in a position to meet the president, mm -hmm. John Dramani Mohammed, today, uh, you were in a position to be a news editor, etc., you were in a position to be. What would you ask him? What, what would you <laughs> ask him? One year into his presidency, what questions would you want to ask him? And so, again, the phone lines are open. Um, Zero three zero two two one one six nine one or two, and so please get interactive. I'm sure it's already on your on your screen, so you have no difficulty. But in the meantime, we have some network uh, page comments, and uh, I have to um, go to Facebook. And Facebook, uh, very interesting comments we have there this morning, and uh, want to see what really the comments um, uh, are about. What you also are saying, and logically. Um, um, what could be the, as far as we're concerned, the conclusion to the thought you have concerning Mahama's first year in office? And then uh, we'll get to relay some of those messages to you. But again, um, it, 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 if, 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 you're, if you're calling, you have 
to tell us where you're calling from. A very good morning to you. We have Mutala from Sabon Zongo on the line. A very good morning to you. Good morning, boss. Well, good morning. Mutala, please uh, f just firm up your voice for us a bit and tell us what question would you would you be asking the president this morning if you were in a position to meet him? Okay. Hello? Good morning, sir. Can you hear me, please? Yeah, I we can hear you. Oh. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. I think I will ask him a question about the new tariff which has been increased. That's what I'm asking. Why? Because I heard that he has been uh, uh, he has been uh, he has been uh, hello. Yeah, yeah please. We can hear you, sir. Just make your conclusions on the subject. Well, you, we seem to have lost Mutala there. Um, very much interested uh, in um, the tariffs. The tariffs, and uh, we all know that uh, the PRC has used the automatic adjustment formula. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, Clinton. Clinton, where are you calling from, sir? Yeah, I'm Papa Clinton. I'm calling from Kumasi in Ebuakwa. Okay. Good morning. How are you? Uh, very fine, sir. Very fine, madam. Okay. So, what would you ask the president? Definitely, I will ask the president simple question: That why are they saying that they will not increase? Uh, public workers uh, salary and wages next year, the whole next year. That's the main question that I'll ask. So I'm urging those who are going there to take this question and ask the president for us. Why are you not increasing uh, the workers salary and wages next year? Very, very important. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, Papa Clinton from Kumasi. <laughs> okay, we have Samuel on the line. Hello, Samuel. Hello, Samuel from Tamale. Not Samuel. This is Haruna Alassan. Oh, Haruna. How are you? Yes, please. Uh, Fine. How why, are you too? Why, why are you calling from Tamale? In fact, I'm calling from Tamale. Okay. Uh, your your yeah. question. I, if you were to meet the president, what question would you ask him? If I were to meet the president. Hello? Hello. I would ask him to sincerely tell Ghanaians what he would do to his ministers who are building machines left to right center just within one year in mm. office when we are crying that there's nothing uh, 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 whatever it's here with bones and blah 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 what mm. you would do with such ministers who are uh, building machines left to right center mm. why well, do you have right? any do, you, do mm -hmm. what, what, what's the rationale for your question I beg your pardon. What's the rationale? What's the reason behind your question? You should have a reason why you're asking the question. To, uh... Of course. How he intends dealing with corruption. Okay. 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 Thank, Thank you very thank much. You. Because... Uh, and that's for uh, Haruna in Tamale, worried about uh, perceived corruption in Ghana and how the president, especially, would deal with his ministers if they were uh, found out to have engaged in any act of corruption. Mm. So we have a caller from Tamale. Hello, sir. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. Uh, happy okay. New Year. And many happy returns. So what, what would you yeah, ask the president? All, yeah, first of all, I would like to congratulate His Excellency, the President, uh, JM, and wish him a happy New Year. The simple question I'll ask His Excellency is uh, when is the Tamil International Airport <laughs> going to be started? That's a very good one. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so we have Christopher on from Borga. Christopher, how are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm very well, thank you. So yeah. uh, what would you ask the president? Yeah, I would ask him what he will be able to do with 300 facilities with the wife and two kids every month as his salary. What? His salary. What will he do with the 350 cities? How, how he will manage with 350 cities a month with the wife a mother and two kids. That's the question I will ask. Okay. Well, are you paid yes. that salary? Is it someone's salary? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, yes. Christopher. Thank you so much. Yes. Mm. You're so, so any question um, worrying you or bugging you, just make sure that you get onto that phone line and uh, the 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 number is already on, on the screen. the screen. Now we have Razak from Nalurigu. Uh, Nalurigu, I hope I pronounce it well. <laughs> Nalurigu. Nalurigu. Okay. Uh, Razak, good morning. Good morning. Uh, why are you, why are you calling from? I am calling from Nandrebu Gambaza district. Again. 
Naleriku, Gambaga district. Naleriku. Naleriku. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, and then, um, what would you want to tell the president? I want to uh, silence on the president. His plan towards the road network in northern region, especially the Gambaga, Wale Wale Road. It's in the budget, you know that? And that is not the only route. They're going to move to end that one to reach. Well, thank you very much, and um, thanks for calling, though. Uh, if you have any other questions you want to ask, just keep watching the AM mm -hmm. show, which is live on um, the Joy News channel of Multi TV. We have a caller from Odoko. Hello. Hello.